NBC defends the statement made by the drag queen mob, we're coming for your children. What should we do and what should our response be? everyone welcome back to the traditional Thomas. for those of you tuning in for the very first time i want to welcome you my name is nicholas cavazos it's great to have you here nbc not surprisingly it's a corporate media outlet publication defending the drag queen specifically the sisters of perpetual indulgence as well as other various groups in supporting drag queens as they continue to chant we're coming for your children. Let's go take a look at this article, and then we should ask ourselves the question, what should the response of the Catholic faithful be at large when it comes to this issue? Reporting here from the postmillennial.com, NBC defends we're coming for your children chant at the New York City Drag March, arguing, quote, it's been used for years at Pride events, end quote. The drag march in Manhattan's East Village featured a topless woman and plenty of drag performers chanting, We're coming for your children. A clip from Tim Cast of the event, the chanting and the festivities went viral on social media, infuriating many who value childhood innocence. I would say those are the same people, right? Anyone who values childlike innocence is a sane person, and anyone who values Childlike deviance is an insane person. Is this not common sense? In response, NBC uh, defended the chant, saying that it was for just for fun. What, like riding a bicycle? And is the way for the rainbow crowd people uh, to, quote, own the slurs that have been leveled against them? Hmm. We are here. We are queer. We're coming for your children. They sang to each other. NBC asserted that the drag marchers were saying, we're here, we're queer, we're not going shopping. And that it's only, quote, one voice that is louder than the crowd who said, we're coming for your children. They quote the drag marchers organizer, Brian Griffin, who said that they chant the chanted obscene things to basically own our own slurs. This is what this individual says. He says, all it's all just words griffin said per nbc it's all presented to fulfill their worst stereotypes of us what's interesting to me is it's generally the leftist crowd who equates words with violence now i'm not a person who believes that words don't have any meaning or any value right or that they cannot be harmful or inharmful etc i don't think really anyone deep down when you logically take that position or logically think through that position ends up taking it but to just come out and say it's just words when your whole movement is largely based on the idea that words are violence and then you try to cope your way and weasel your way out when you're specifically lying and saying it's just one person no clearly watch the clip it's dozens of people chanting we're coming for your children. So what should the Catholic response be to this? What should just be a conservative response to this? Well, I think at the end of the day, we have to, on the one hand, remember that we should not be surprised that stuff like this is going on. We see in sacred scripture, our Lord say that the times before his coming, and I'm not, a claim, I'm not claiming that the Lord is coming immediately, but that the times before his coming shall be like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and the days before Noah's flood. The point behind what our Lord was saying is that there would be times of exceeding wickedness, that there'd be times of exceeding immorality. How do we counteract that? We counteract that first and foremost through the means in which our Lord has instituted through his Holy Mother, the Virgin Mary, to counteract 
communistic and Marxist mentalities, which this is merely a, an expression of on a, an ideological social level, which is to pray the rosary. We need to pray the rosary every single day, 15 decades of the rosary every single day in reparation to the Immaculate and Sacred Hearts, but also that the United States of America would wake up and that they would repent of their sins, they would do penance, and they'd put faith and trust in Christ, that they would return to just the principles of reason, the principles of the natural law that are embedded into all of us, that they would see and recognize that defending, whether it be the unborn or childlike innocency or the sanctity of holy matrimony, that these are issues that are worth fighting for and that are good for society. Society does not benefit whenever the whole society is um, contracepting itself out of existence, when we have no-fault divorce in place so that the vows of marriage are nothing more than basically an agreement to go on an extended dating trip. Whenever we've destroyed the definition of marriage, it's no longer about promulgating the species and rearing those species in virtue, but rather it's just about doing whatever you want, using one another for mutual pleasure. It's quite sad. It's quite sickening. But we have to return to a sane time, and we can do this, but it's not going to be easy. But it's only going to be through the Holy Rosary, through fasting and prayer, and through many good actions that we can be able to take over and to do what's right. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video of the traditional Thomas, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. If you're not a part of the channel, we'd be glad to have you. Also, if you'd like to donate to the said work of the traditional Thomas, you'll see in the link at the description below a option to donate. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash traditional Thomas and donate over there. Your donations are greatly appreciated. Prayers are also greatly appreciated for the work of this show. And finally, go ahead and share it with family and friends and pray the rosary every single day and take what I said to heart because I do believe that better times are in the future because at the end of the day, good always wins. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, may our Lord bless you, our lady keep you, and St. Joseph watch over and protect you. God bless.